Hello, 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 hello. Happy Monday. I am a hot mess. I'm not even going to lie today. My hair is nasty. I'm in my pajamas and I've spent all day in bed. This just is what it is today. It's very rainy here today. And it, the sun's actually came out, so it's not as bad. But it's been very rainy and very, very dreary here today. So, I have been unmotivated to do anything. I'm just making sure everything is set up right. All right, <clears throat> so we have the Father's Day launch today. I'm also working on my um, Sin of the Month samples. I used the Whiff Box. In the Whiff Box, you usually get um, one of the sample cups full of, hey, uh, one of the sample cups full of next month's Sin of the Month. So since I grabbed that this month, I'm actually ahead of the game. So I've got my felt samples for Sin of the Month all made up. Well, as many as that little cup would allow me to make. So I'm getting those all labeled so I can get them stuffed. But, so we had that today. We had the Father's Day collection launch today. We also had the Bring Back My Bar Bundles. So we have a lot of newbie, newbies in our group. And it happens all the time as we're always growing and stuff like that. So some of you that have been around for a while, this is probably extremely boring for you. So feel free to not watch. But if you are a newbie and or you've been around but you've never utilized the bring back my bars as well as you could have or you're confused this is for you this one might be a tad bit longer but aren't they all um so what are bring back my bars first of all bring back my bars are 20 20 retired scents that we voted on i think back in like january or something like that we voted on them a while back the public did and us, we voted, we bring back 20 cents. Then sometimes we bring back a fifth, we bring out five more, like five bonus ones. But it's technically 20, and then we have the five bonus. So we're bringing back 25 retired cents. They are available in June. In June. We do this twice a year, June and December. Here lately, they've been trying to theme it. So. These ones are supposed to be more spring and summer type scents. And then the ones in December are supposed to be more fall and winter type scents. So they changed that up over the past year or so. Um, so they're only available in a bar. That's it. The, the fronts will look a little bit different than what they originally did. And it will also say bring back my bar on it. Um, they're normal priced. They can be done in a bundle. They can be added they're purchased just like any other regular bar. They are not licensed or anything like that. They are just like any other bar. Normal price, normal bundles, things like that. Okay? Easy peasy. Now, something that's changed over the past year or so is that they can sell out. Um, but I can say the only time I've ever remember I bring back my bar selling out was Grape Granada sold out one year and Fuzzy Blanket sold out one year. And that's about all I can think of because we don't have as many customers that hoard bars as we used to. Um, we still have customers who refuse to do club, so um, they will hoard bars. But for the most part, uh, we can usually talk a customer into doing club. So that helps with that whole buying, you know, 30 bars and it's selling out. Not saying something won't sell out, but it's possible. Um, so you're going to want to talk about club a lot and if you do not understand what Cincy Club is ask your sponsor or ask me and we will discuss it because I will be honest it can be very confusing in the beginning and when it did come out we were all confused so don't feel bad um so today I feel like I'm like a drug dealer over here um today the bring back my bar bundles came out you may or may not have bought them. You may have bought them and thought, what the hell am I going to do with them? But here's the deal. There's so much you can do with these bars. Um, you can buy them and not do a damn thing with them and you wasted your money. Or you use them for yourself, okay? Let's be honest. And that's what a lot of you, and no offense, a lot of you are going to end up doing. Is you're going to have these great intentions with them, but you're not going to have follow through with them. It is what it is. It is life. I mean, we all buy stuff from the grocery store that we intend to make and we don't. So... Um, there's a lot of stuff. So one of the first things that I do with them 
is, and I already posted about it today, every host in June gets a full deluxe sample of my Bring Back My Bars, all 25 cents. Now, you can advertise this because it is a sample. We are allowed to give out samples all we want. I do not say it's a full cube. I don't say it's a half cube. I don't say it's a quarter cube. I just say it's a full deluxe sample. And the reason I do that is um, my goal is a full cube, but um, of all 25 cents, and yeah, you heard me right. That's a lot, but... Um, I don't want to have to buy an extra like I don't want to buy another kit a full kit of bars for like one cube so I might be a half a cube or something like that but I always say a big deluxe sample of all 25 cents now as you guys know I do host boxes I will not do a host box this month all they're gonna get is those 25 cents that's gonna be their um, gift from me that's gonna be like their host box that's it because I think I can't do math because I don't do the math in my head. I think that's like the equivalent to like a little over three bars, if I remember right, that they're getting from me for free. Yes, it is only one cube, one set, but still you get the idea. Um, so I advertised that today that every host in June gets a free deluxe sample of all 25 cents. So that's option. That's the one thing. And we can all do that. Everybody can do that. Um, the other thing is, is I do mystery boxes every single month and um, everybody knows that Bring Back My Bar Month, my box people get a full deluxe sample of all 25 cents. And um, so essentially they're kind of paying for them, but they're not paying for them because they're paying for the product in the box. So at least I'm not out money because if you have a host who um, doesn't do anything, you're kind of out money because you sent them all of these and they didn't you do anything. But um, with my boxes, my customers pay $20 for the box. They're gonna get over $20 worth of product and then they're also gonna get their Bring Back My Bar samples. But again, it's getting them in people's hands. Um, in December, I had 32 boxes I did. So 32 people got all 25 Bring Back My Bars. So those are the first two options. The other one, go live. Please do it, go live. Um, do not go live with all 25. I used to do that in the beginning. I would sit down and I would go live with all 25 of them. And it was like an hour long live. I'm going to be honest. Ain't nobody watching you for an hour. I'm not. Nobody else is. It just is what it is. So um, we don't have that kind of attention span unless it's a movie. And if, it was, if I was that exciting, I would be in Hollywood and I'm not. So break it down. Break it down to five cents for five days. If you feel that's too long, break it down to three cents and go through however many days that is. But do it consistently every day. Make yourself, uh, you have to do it, okay? Because if you do like, let's say you do five this week and then you do 10 the week after and then you do, you know, five the week after, you're at like week three of smelling them, okay? Sometimes people need time to think. Sometimes somebody has already ordered and then they're like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have known about that one. So try to get all of your lives for the Bring Back My Bars done the very first week of the month. And that's just one, to avoid sellout. And then two, it gets people, gets them the information right away. So what I do is I do five bars every day. And in the morning, I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to talk about the set. I'm going to do the graphics of the individual five cents that I'm going to do. We talk about them and then that evening or whenever in the afternoon, whatever my life dictates, we will go live and I will smell them. Um, do not feel you have to be technical. Y'all know me. I'm not technical. I'm just not. Um, my scent descriptions are very strange. You do not think you have to have like these perfect scent descriptions because you don't have to. Be honest. If you don't like a scent, guess what? That is okay. I do not like coffee tree. Do not come at me. I do not like it. It is strong. It makes me cough. I can smell it through the damn box. I don't like it. But guess what? I'm going to tell everybody I don't like it and I'm going to explain why because somebody else is going to like it for that reason. So be honest. If you don't like something, don't smell, say it smells like ass. You know, tell them why you don't like it because of X, Y, and Z. Um, my customers know Jeremy doesn't like caramel. He does not like the smell of caramel. So if I say he doesn't like it because it's a caramel smell, they know it's very caramel smelling. It's that simple. So host, if you do mystery boxes, um, right, Rachel hates the smell of apple. And speaking of that, I don't think you're going to like this end of the month. It's kind of like Johnny Appleseed, but on a lower scale. Um, but 
they know she doesn't like apple. So if she tells them, hey, this is very apple they're going to know why she doesn't like it. But then that tells them why, because she's told them. So be honest, be real, be honest and tell your people. Um, so host boxes, go live with them. Okay, those are three top things. Monthly mailer, do your day a monthly mailer. I cannot stress how important these mailers are. A lot of people do not think they are. A lot of people, uh, <laughs> a lot of people don't want to do them. A lot of people think that it's a waste of time because you may not see the return every single month. I may mail out 150 of them. And guess what? I still have Palm Harbor, no, Palm Tree and Ocean Breeze bars sitting here. I may not get the return every single month from them, but it pays off. It really does. I have 150 mailers sitting down there, right there, going out to people's houses. And guess what? It's going to have all 25 cents in there. Uh, not the samples, but it's going to have a card with all 25 cents on it. Hold on. I'll grab one. Um, it has... The like and don't like. So every mailer has the bring back my card, bring back my bar card that Kristen made with all the scents on it. On the back is if you like this, you may like this. So if you liked Cloudberry Dreams, you may like Love Story. You monthly mailers, they do make a difference. They really, really do. Um, so they're going to have this in there. So all my people are not only going to get the list of all of the scents and descriptions, they're going to get, okay, if I liked this, I might like this. That's going to help them out. 150 people are going to get that. Um, make your family smell them. I don't care if you're a family of four. I don't care if you're a hand, family of 500. Make them smell them. Get your family involved. Mine hate it. They really hate it. Like when I come at them, I'm like, all right, it's time for everybody to smell. I get, ugh. Because they've had to do it a billion times. But um, make your family smell it. Make it fun. Because as I've said before, my customers know that Casey likes very fruity scents. So if she likes something, they know it's super fruity. They know that Tyler hates 99% of all scents. Um, because I like doing them. But I like doing monthly mailers, but I also know that they, they're a lot of work. They're a lot, a lot of work. Um, June, July, August are a lot of work. But um, my customers know that Tyler hates 99% of all the scents he makes, except for the ones that smell exactly like food. Exactly. No questions about it. Blueberry cheesecake, baked apple pie. Um, coconut pumpkin pie, I think is what it was. Those were his three. Like he likes maybe three cents. So they know if Tyler likes it, it's kind of a big deal. Um, they know Jeremy has no sense of smell that he thinks they're all kind of like, eh, and he's not big on anything. So if they pick that, if he picks them, they know his is more of a neutral type of scent, but my customers know that. Okay. So get your family involved, have them smell, have them create a six pack. And it doesn't have to be six bars, six different bars. It could be three. I want three of this one and two of this one and one of this one. Have each family member create a six pack. Take a picture of that six pack and have a battle of the family. Really have a battle of the family who I know he does. He thinks white tea and cactus smells like dill pickles. <laughs> um, but have a battle of the family and see who, can, which person in your family six pack sells the most. It's something fun. It's something different, but it gets that scent of the month out there. I mean, that um, bring back my bar out there. You have to. To use these you do you can buy this kit and sit on it with all of these intentions and do nothing with it posting a graphic of the scent descriptions is not going to do you anything it's really really not I know Yasha I think I got the idea from you because you I know you guys always do the battle of the six pack and I think I saw that a few years ago and I think that's where I got the idea from um but you can have all the intentions. You can have all these bars, all 25 of these bars, and never do anything with it. And that's that's your choice. And But don't come at me and be like, I didn't, you know, I didn't get any sales. Posting a graphic of the scent does nothing. Going live, people seeing your facial expressions, um, and admit it, we have some wackadoodle scent descriptions. You're like, what? Like, I'll never forget Farmer's Market. That scent description was super weird, super, super weird. And it didn't smell anything like that. So you can say, here's the scent description, but 
let's be honest, you don't know what it smells like unless you smell it and your customers don't either. And you're not going to be able to get all 25 cents out to your customers unless you, you know, make them do something is my thought. Uh, my thank yous, my thank yous for June will have one, two, maybe three samples of a bring back my bar in there. Uh, don't necessarily have to do felt samples. You can cut um, a sliver of your wax off. Now it is getting warm in most places, despite the fact that I'm under the blanket. You can cut a very small sliver of your wax and put it in like your little baggie and then still put a piece of felt in there. So, because what's gonna happen is when it melts in the heat, the felt will soak up your wax. If you do not have the felt in it, it's just gonna kind of like all over the place. So cut a tiny little sliver, slip it in the baggie with a piece of felt, seal it up, and it should be good to go. So don't think you have to melt them down, make the felt, don't think you have to do all of that because you don't have to. So, you know, you bought the kit, you've done all the smellings, you went all live, you have a couple hosts, and you still have three or four cubes left in one bar of all 25, and you're going, what the hell am I supposed to do with these? Make a blend, do a blend. Okay, we've got a whole album full of blends. Blend some together. Do it live. Um, do it with a picture, whatever. Blend it so that you can give your honest opinion. Make samples. We all do thank you. We all should be doing thank yous in your thank you. Make three little slivers with your felt and boom, there you go. Send it out in a thank you. You should be able to send three of these. See how thin they are? three of them. You should be able to send three. This is smaller than a scent circle, smaller than a scent circle. You can send out three. You could probably send out four if you really, really wanted. Four, bring back my bar, um, tiny sliver wax samples with a piece of felt for one stamp, not the non-machinable one, the regular, whatever it is, forever stamp, because I don't buy any other stamps. That's all I buy is just the regular forever stamp. Um, Get it out of your house. Meet people. I used to do this all the time. Um, I haven't done it as much because of COVID, but I used to get together. Like, I would have customers be like, I really want to smell them. I'm like, all right, want to get together for lunch? And we would go have lunch or we would meet at the park or I would go to somebody's house and we would sit down and we would smell them. It's not going to kill you to get out of the house. And these people should know you. So if you're like, dude, I'm going to show up in my pajamas, they're going to be like, all right, I'm going to be in my pajamas. Okay, cool. Let's do a pajama sm a smelling. Like, you have to be chill. You have to be chill, um, but you have to use these. Buying your kit and just letting it sit there ain't going to do you anything. you got to pimp the kit. You have to use it to its fullest extent. That means you have to work. In the past, most of you don't know this, but in the past, this was considered our slow season. And hitting 1,000 and hitting 2,000 was in one month was an extremely hard task. Um, bring back my bar months were the only months except for the fall that I actually hit 2,000 PRV. Those were it. Otherwise, before that, it was like 1,000, 1,800, something like that. But to hit 2,000 in a month... The only times I did that was the fall and bring back my bar months. And why? Because I use the kit like crazy. Um, you can advertise that your host get a sample because it's a sample. You can advertise that your monthly box, if you do a monthly box or a monthly bag or something like that, you can advertise that um, they can get a sample because it's a sample. You can do that. What you cannot do is you cannot charge them for the sample. You cannot say, all right, if you want a sample of all 25 cents, 10 bucks and I'm going to give them to you. You can't do that. We cannot charge for samples. So you can't do anything like that. But you can say, I'm giving a sample for X, Y, and Z. Um, you can say that your samples for your thank yous are, you know, for bring back my bars. Um, you can do now. I think Kristen's doing it now. Oh yeah, my monthly box numbers go out the roof. And I know it's only because they want those samples, but that's okay because I'm getting 25 cents into all of these people's hands because then guess what? I'm gonna follow up with them and see if they need to add anything to club. Um, remember that list, this list, the if you like list. All right, if you like list, you can go on your reports tab and pull up every single person who has ever bought Cloudberry Dreams. And you can tell them, hey, I just wanted to give you a quick heads up. I don't know if you knew this. Bring back my um, 
bring back my bars are coming this month. I know that you really loved Cloudberry Dreams because you bought it four times. And I wanted to let you know that love story. Yeah, I told them. They know. Do you tell them they're getting a samples in their monthly box? Yes. They know what the theme is and they know included with their monthly box is 25 samples of the Bring Back My Bars. And that's probably why they purchase. I usually have roughly 10 boxes every month. Um, but for Bring Back My Bar months, I'm usually double if not triple that because they know they want those samples. And that's okay because I'm still making money. But... Um, so you could tell somebody like, hey, I know you liked Cloudberry Dreams. You've bought four or five times. I want to let you know and bring back my bars. We have a scent called Love Story. It's very, very similar. And I think you might like it. Would you like a sample? And then you can send them a sample. Now, yes, it is exhausting to go through all of these 25 cents, make the samples and things like that. So you don't have to do that, but you could let them know because they may not know, especially if you didn't send them a monthly mailer or they fell off your monthly mailer list because you were doing them. You know, hey, do you, I know you love Sunkissed Citrus. Oodles of Orange is like Sunkissed Citrus on steroids because it is, and it's more candy smelling. You can let them know that. But you can't really tell them that if you've never smelled it. Do you know that, let's see, strawberry swirl. Is this a soft scent or is this a strong scent? You don't know because you probably never smelled it. So that's another reason to get the kit because you can smell it. Um, it is. It is exhausting. It is a lot. It is a lot to go through this list. Um, Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It honestly depends the mood I'm in, but it's something that you can do. You can go through the list. You can pull it up by product and app and every single person who's ordered that, you can make a report and then you can reach out to each one and let them know because again, they might not know. Um, so you could do that. Um, there was something else I was going to say and I forgot. So you can do that. The host, the boxes, go live, battle, battle of the six packs, meet with people. Um, oh, you can do a voting. I think Kristen's doing that right now. Go this week, go this week and make a poll. All right. I'm, I want to find out what four cents. Uh, no, I haven't said that cause I don't think we have that this option this time, but I don't know. I'll have to look, but, um, you can, do a poll in your VIP group and ask them what three cents would you guys like sampled? Um, it's up to you though, uh, but it's an option. Pull your VIPs. Here's the 25 cents. Now I'll be honest, a poll of 25 options could be a little bit overwhelming. So maybe do 10 and 10 and pick those or your top five or something like that and ask them, all right, which cents are you most excited to know about? Or which scents would you like a sample of? And then everybody who voted, send them a sample. Again, yes, it is work. It is extra work. I totally understand that. But this month is extra work. You want the money, you've got to do the work. The money does not fall in your lap. It's that simple. I am sitting here watching um, the Irwins in my pajamas in bed working on scent of the month. Yes, it is work. You cannot post graphic or post a poll or post a flyer or a picture and expect money to fall on your lap. It does not work that way. I apologize, but it doesn't. I wish it did. And sometimes it does, but most of the time it doesn't. You do have to do a little bit of legwork. Um, sometimes there is a report in the rep um, reporting tab that, and I know the reporting tab is overwhelming, but there sometimes is a report in the reporting tab about who voted for which scent and you can go in it's a pre-made report i think it's the like because the first one is your um team sales and stuff the second one is your team birthdays and subscriptions the third report is called a sales report click that it'll take you to another screen and it has pre-ran reports for you and sometimes there is a bring back my bar report and some years it is the way that people voted. Like if you had any of your customers vote for a certain scent, it's going to show up on there so you can let them know. Like, yo, you voted for sweet pea and vanilla. It's back. Do you want me to get wrapped you some? Um, or sometimes it will already be the pre-made report of like who's ordered these in the past. If you've been around long enough, it will say, you know, so-and-so ordered lemon thyme berry in the past. You might want to let them know that it's available. But most of you haven't been around enough. Um, so yeah, there's a lot, a lot of options, but again, it takes the work, the effort. You can buy the kit and do absolutely nothing with it and bought it just because I told you it was a good investment. It is a good investment if you do it right. It really is. Your first year 
you may hate me. You may be like, I didn't get anything from it. That bitch told me to buy it and it didn't help my sales or nothing. And then I'm going to ask you, did you do all the things? Did you go live? Did you offer it to hosts? Did you um, try a monthly box? If you haven't done those, maybe not try this month. But, um, you know, did you do samples? Did you do a poll? Did you offer to meet people? Like, did you do all of the things? Or did you just get it, post some graphics, and keep your fingers crossed? It depends on how bad you want this. Some people buy it just because they want to know what it smells like. And they're never going to do anything with it. And they're cool with it. So it all depends on what you want out of it. I just spent... What did I spend? 100, 200 and some bucks. Because I've got one kit full price and I did get a discount on the other one from Host Rewards. I spent about $200 on two kits. Two full, I've got two bars of all of them coming. Most generally I go through four full bring back my bar kits. I just do. Um, and I use them all. Every last square of it. And sometimes I have to cut <laughs> a cube because I'm out and I don't want to buy anymore. But... It all depends what you want out of it. If you're just a chill, you know, I kind of want an extra 50 bucks a month kind of chick, then don't worry about it. But I'm not. I got bills to pay. <laughs> and I want the money. It sounds greedy, but I want the money. And um, I'm going to pimp it. I want that 200 and some dollars that I paid. I want that back in commission and more. Okay, so to do that, I got to put in the effort. I'm going to do the follow up. I'm going to run the reports. I'm going to go live. I'm going to do all of the things. Now I do themes in my um, VIP group. So Wednesdays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays, I do not post anything since unless it's in the evening about like something, a new release or something like that. So I probably will not go live on a Wednesday and I probably will not go live on a Friday but I will go live all of the days that I do Cincy so I don't know what the dates things start Monday so the first is a Tuesday so I'll go live Tuesday Thursday Saturday and Monday one two three four and Tuesday those will be my lives I will go live all of those days I will smell five cents um we will talk about since those days. My Saturdays are a month is Saturday mixer. I always post a mixer, a blend of two cents for the whole month. It's already scheduled. I'm highlighting all of the bring back my bars and there it's already posted. Mine are scheduled and ready to go for the whole entire month of June. So they will all be bring back my bar blends um, bundles. We have bundle graphics already pre-made bundle graphics. You could use those like take one week and focus on five cents each day. Okay, then take another week and focus on blends and mixers. Take another week and focus on bundles. Talk about club. If you do not know what club is, please ask, okay? But you need to talk about club more than once. And you need to do more than, don't forget to add it to your club. Here's some info about club. Like, you need to talk about club. And to talk about it, you have to understand it. And it it's confusing, I'm not going to lie. So... Find out, get all your information, get all your ducks in a row, and then go live and explain to your people what club is and why they should get it and what does it mean and how is it beneficial to them. Um, you can add these bars to your club for the whole 30 days, even if it sells out. So you're going to really want to push that club towards the end of the month. Don't forget, either stock up or club up. That's what I tell people. You either stock up and get your 500 bars of Oodles Orange or you club it. Stock up or club up. One of the two of them. Put it in your club or stock up. Those are your two options. But after that, don't come crying to me. Because I can guarantee somebody is going to come to you on July 3rd and say, Oh yeah, I need to order four oodles of oranges. And you're going to be like, mm, it was gone. It always happens. Always. Always. So make sure you talk to people about club. Make sure you understand it. Um, make sure club information is in every single one of your thank yous this month. OK, um, don't get annoying with it and say it in every single post. Don't forget to add a club. Don't forget to add a, don't do that. But definitely dedicate a day to talk about club one, two, maybe even three days. Go live and talk about club. Again, sounds super annoying, but not everybody sees your post every single day. You wish you hope, but they don't. Um, not everybody's in your VIP group. 
So make sure your thank yous have all of the information. And again, not everybody's going to order, so they're not going to get that information. So make sure it's in your monthly mailer. Like you've got to cover all of your bases. Make sure you're doing an email campaign. If you're not, let me know. I can help you out with that. There's actually, you can send a mass email from the workstation very easily. It's not the prettiest, but it gets the job done. If you need to know how to do that, let me know. But have club information in there. Have the bring back my bar information in there. Have the if you like information in there. Send out a text because guess what? A lot of people don't open emails. So you send a text. Again, cover all your bases if that's what you want to do. Okay. If you have any questions, please ask. I love Bring Back My Bar Month. It's a lot of work, but it can be so beneficial to you if you use it right. Now, you may try all of the things. You may. You may try every little thing that I tell you to do, and you may still not have an amazing month. And that's okay. It's probably because you are newer, and it takes time. You've got to remember that. It takes time. These people have to learn to trust you. Um, so many people join a direct sales company and turn flaky. They're like gung-ho for like two months and then they're like, meow. So people have to learn to trust you. People have to learn to know that you're in this for the long haul, that you're in it for a business. So sometimes it takes people longer than others. Trust is something that is just different for everybody, okay? So don't come at me all angry that, you know, I did every single thing you told me to and I didn't get anybody. Guess what? I don't have a host. I have no hosts for June. And I posted about it, but I don't have any. Am I mad? Mm, nope. But I posted about it. And I will tell every single person that I talk to about it. Um, it's just like the join special. I've posted about it a bunch. And I've talked to people about it. But I'm not going to get mad if nobody joins. It is what it is. But I think that's about it. There's a lot you can do with it. Use it. Use it to its fullest, fullest, fullest advantage. If you have questions about anything I talked about, monthly boxes, um, how to go live, how to send an email, how to send a text. If you have questions about anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Do not be scared of me. I am not scary. I'm a chick who's not wearing a bra with crappy hair. Don't be scared of me. So everybody have a good night. I'm going to work more on my scent of the month samples and watch the Irwins. Crikey. Bye.